you know, I am wearing this such this really cool hat. And I went to an event today, and one of the key things from the event was that I had to, um, I had to wear a hat. And I was like, a hat? You know, I really don't wear hats, but I wanted to be part of it, and I, you know, wanted to behave and play by the rules. And I thought, how much fun will that be? And as I was putting on my hat this morning, it reminded me, I, you know, and I say this morning, but I just kind of walked by a mirror and I thought to myself, you know what? I remember a time when I put something on in order to feel a certain way, right? So, you know, my story is really simple. 13 years ago, I was a single mom and I put my kids to bed hungry often. And when I did that, you know, I was frustrated. I was frustrated. I was upset. I was angry at it. it you know, life for me, just when you have no money, you have no option. All right. So here is what putting on this hat reminded me of. It's like, you, sometimes we think that your life just changes, right? You just, you start doing the right thing. You start being in the right place at the right time. But the truth is that that's never really it. You actually just make a decision that you're going to change, right? It's like, you have to decide who and what you're going to be. And once you decide who and what you're going to be, then you step into it. So let me explain that just for a moment. It's like I had to decide that even though, you know, even though I didn't have a car, I didn't have um, really much of anything, you know, even though I didn't have the things that I thought you needed in order to create the kind of success that I wanted or just kind of life, you know, I just really didn't want to struggle anymore, to be honest with you. Being as that that's the case, I had to first make a decision before I could do anything, before I could take action, before I could learn or work harder. I had to decide on who I was going to be and what I was going to be. And more importantly, what was I going to become? So here's what's key about that. First, you make a decision. And once you make the decision, then you step into it. A lot of times we think that you step first, right? But the truth is that you don't. You actually have to make a decision. A decision. And for me at that time, that meant that I bought something. And one of the very first things I bought was a pair of heels because I had seen successful women wear heels and I had never worn a pair of heels. And I was like, okay, well, if that's what successful women, you know, wear, if that's what they look like, I wanted to be that woman. So as soon as I could, which took me months, I bought a pair of heels. Now, don't get too excited. They weren't super duper expensive, right? They were, you know, they were inexpensive heels, but the key is that I put them on and I got to tell you, I transformed and I was a new person. It's like you have to ask yourself, what do you want to become? Whatever it is, what do you want to become? And then once you make a decision on what that is, once you get clear on what that looks like, and you've got to get a visual of that, right? You just can't make the decision without being able to see it in your mind. You've got to see it. And once you see it and then you decide that that's it, you just physically step into it, but you have to take action. And that action may be buying a pair of shoes, it could be wearing a hat, right? It could be a scarf. It could be a dress. My gosh, it could be, so, or if you're a guy, it could be um, making a change, cutting your hair differently. My gosh, it could be so many things. So here's what I, here's what I know to be true. You can't change unless you make a decision that you're going to, right? Like I couldn't, I couldn't become anything more than what I was or whatever anyone told me that I was until I made a decision that that's what was going to happen. Does that make sense? And then after I did that, I had to take action. I had to physically do something because you can't just mentally be like, all right, now I'm a different person. Now I'm a successful woman. No, that BS wouldn't work. So the truth is that I really actually had to just physically step into it. I had to physically take action. I had to do something physical that would transform who I was, what I was like, what I wore, you know, what I felt like. Because I gotta tell you the truth, when I made a choice, to buy heels oh my gosh my game changed my game changed forever you know why because i never felt the same i never again felt like that broke uh low uneducated single mom not much value woman i will see you soon bye